hi, I'm Sean Smith. That makes this Sean Smith Photos, where I edit street photography and occasional travel photos in On One Photo Raw. So today we're going to take a look at the transform tool and the different options that are available and why or when you would want to do that. So let's get to it. All right, so uh, just before we start, I want to remind you that if you enjoy my content, uh, you can get a discount if you're purchasing on one or upgrading your software. Uh, check my coupon code in the uh, description below. So what I have here is I have a series of three shots. Uh, two of them are fully edited. Uh, that's this sculpture here and this pink building, which I've edited and shared both of these on Vero. And then the third shot, I was actually out and I was planning for to do this video and I took this shot to enhance the vertical distortion. So I was using uh, a 10 to 24 lens and I believe I shot this at 10 millimeters, which yeah, uh, is really gonna enhance the perspective distortion of tall, uh, buildings or subjects. So what we want to do is correct the distortion if possible in each of these three images. And I'm going to use the image that I haven't shared and I'm probably not really going to share the, the test image here, Dream Big. And we'll take a look at this in the develop pane and then turn on transform. And what you end up here is you've got a couple options, keystone, level, move, and these will help you automatically do things. And then you've got manual sliders and the option for a grid. Now, grid gives you 10%, 5%, 1%. And if I do that, there's no change. But if I move a slider, you can see that the grid is overlaid. and it's a little bit easier to see over in the sky area, and I can't really change the color of that. It may not show up on YouTube, but this grid can help you align things vertically and horizontally. And as soon as I let go, the grid disappears. So let's take a look at the level tool. And if we hit that, we can draw a line. So what you want to do is find a straight line, whether horizontal or vertical, and this will help you fix your horizons. And looks like my horizon is pretty good. I'm going to reset that because I don't actually want to do that. Uh, you can also re uh, set your horizon with the crop tool. You hit C and then the same tool is available there. And Keystoning, this is something that I do a lot when editing. And so I turn this on and I want to make this building vertically straight. So what, what do you do? You draw a box around something that should be vertically facing the camera. So I'm going to draw along the edges of these two windows and all the way over to that window and like this. And then I hit the enter key and it has keystoned or transformed the image so that everything is now straight up and down. It's obviously distorted things and cropped it. And we have a, a bunch of black here. Now, this doesn't work for this particular image, but it's actually something that's really, really handy. And I'll show you that when we look at the pink image. So I'm going to go back here and hit the reset button. And so that's keystoning. This image needs to be fixed manually. And we're going to do that with this vertical slider. And so I move it to the left and we can see it's moving it vertically. And that's as vertical as we're going to get it. And we can move the horizontal. I, th I think that's a little bit better. And I can rotate it. And yeah, there we go. So when I've got it here at rotation plus 0.5, I can see one of those grid lines was along 
was perfectly aligned with the top of these three uh, windows. So I know that's aligned. And then I can use the scale to increase the scale if I want, but I want this as wide as possible. Aspect ratio. So this is going to stretch or squish the image. I'm going to restore that and then shift will move it left or right and rise will move it up or down. So while this isn't perfectly aligned, I knew that this image would be really hard to get perfectly straight, but it's a lot better than it was. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up the crop tool, hitting C on the keyboard, and I'm just going to pull in really tight like that to get rid of the black edges and hit enter. And then if I hit backslash on the keyboard, I can see what I originally had this one or this one. And so this is this is a, the perspective has been fixed a lot. It's not perfect. But this is what you can do with the transform tool. So let's take a look at uh, the other two images where I actually used them this tool before I decided to make this video. So over here, I've got this big sculpture that was shot in Brookfield Place. And I really like this shot. However, uh, because it was handheld and I was like down crutching down on the ground, I didn't do a great job in ensuring everything was straight. So if I hit crop, I can see that I've already cropped it and that the edge of the crop lines here, it's not correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to transform. And when I was first doing this, I tried the keystone and keystoning completely messed up this image. So I'm going to just show you what keystoning on this image did. So let's uh, go here and then we'll go here. So basically, I've just got this little square thing that I'm going to just like that. And yeah, see, no matter where I place the keystone, it completely messed everything up. So what I needed to do is use the sliders. So I'm going to use the sliders here. Rotate this. And we'll Rotate the horizontal. Yeah, so we can see that. And let's use the shift. So we want that in the center. So yeah, see this is this is much better now. And then I saved that. So if I turn on and off the transform tool, now it's like the camera was set up much better on the tripod. Okay, and the third image is this one. And this one, keystoning works great. And we can see that everything's a little bit uh, tilted and crooked. And I want the facade of this pink shop to be facing straight on the camera, not tilted and slanted off at an angle as well. So I'm going to turn on the transform tool. Turn on the transform tool and grab the keystoning. And as I said before, this is really simple. You just grab something that has straight lines. So I'm going to use, uh, where am I going to use? Actually, let's just use this whole window right here. So I'm going to do that to there and there. And just line it up so that you get a perfect square. And then on one, we'll do the math necessary to adjust everything and make it look correct. And now my image has been adjusted and set up exactly how I want it. So uh, that is the transform tool in a nutshell. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, you can find me on Vero. All the little social media stuff should be popping up. I will see you in the next video.